Hey guys, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Lacey. Um, we're going to be talking about posture. This has been a topic that has been on my heart for quite a while to record. Um, I predominantly say this in my fitness classes, but this can be to used as a, as a dance application as well. Um, also, I just wanted to let you know we may have a special guest appearance. My cat Athena. If you give her an applause, maybe she'll like move out of the way. I don't know. But let's get started, shall we? Uh, let's get into a nice neutral position. Cool. Heels together. Make a nice little pizza shape with your feet. We don't want too big of a pizza shape. We're not ballerinas. If you're a ballerina, awesome. Kudos to you. You know really good body control. The cat's about to take down the camera. Just letting you know. So if that happens, that's why. So let's get a... <laughs> there she is. Athena. Athena. Good girl. Come here. So we're going to have a nice little pizza shape. I want you to put your weight to the front of the foot. Let's go with the back of the ball of the foot. So if my hand's my foot, our weight should be on the inside on the back of the foot. Cool. So you should be able to wiggle your toes and you should be able to pick up your heels effectively. Cool. Now transfer your weight to your heel in front of your heel to the outside. You should be able to wiggle your toes but you shouldn't be able to pick up your heels. Cool, let's go back to the front. Awesome. This is gonna be where we're gonna be keeping most of our momentum forward, to the side. This is where we have movement. When we're in our heels, that is a more anchored and more stabilizing position. Whereas forward, we're moving. I usually use this one for my cardio classes and I use the heel one for my weightlifting classes. Something important to remember, when you're weighted on the front of the foot, and I don't tell this in my, my fitness classes, but because this is a video, we're going to go a little longer. Um, when you're weighted on your front of the foot, a lot of people like to cave inwards. Their knees go inward, their body goes inward, everything pushes inwards. And that's what we don't want. We want to bring our energy outwards. So although we're weighted on the back of the ball of the foot, on the inside, we want to press our energies outwards so that the outside of the foot is touching the ground. Same thing for when we put our weight into our heels on the front of the side of the heel. Everybody wants to fall backwards. That is not good. We want to make sure our energy is enough to keep our feet touching the ground so that all contact points of the foot is really grappling into the ground so that we're using our entire foot regardless of where the weight is distributed. Cool. Let's move up to our knees. Our knees should be straight, but not locked. As soon as you lock them, you cut off blood circulation. So if they're straight, you should be able to like wiggle your heels, but not like pick them up. As soon as you pick them up, you probably like straighten your, or lock your knees. Um, this is what I tell my fitness students, that if you lock your knees, you cut off blood circulation. When you cut off blood circulation, there's the cat, when you cut off blood circulation, you lose blood to your brain. Then you pass out, and if I'm not there, I can't make out with you, and then I make my husband jealous, and then it's just a whole awkward situation because you're passed out, and let's just avoid all of that. She's avoiding it. So, straight but not locked. So that you easily wiggle it, but it's not like you're like doing a plie or something. Cool? Let's go up to the hips. This one bugs me. We don't want the Urkel. We don't want the Badonkadonk. I want you to take, this is going to be a little vulgar, I'm going to take your butt crack and I want you to stab it straight down into the ground. Cool? If those of you that know this terminology, your sits bone, the bone where you actually like sit down on, I want you to stab them straight down. This should tighten this area up here. Cool? If it didn't, and if it's tightening down here, you're probably over rotating underneath and doing the Urkel. We don't want that. Stab it straight down. Another thing why we want to stab it straight down is it causes a slight external rotation of the inner thighs. This helps our kneecaps, our hip bones, and our toes be facing in the exact same direction. For fitness, this is extremely important because we don't want to torque our knees or torque our feet away from the proper alignment. In dance, most people don't pay attention to it. They torque all day long. 
So it's really, really important to always keep your hip bones and your knees and your feet in alignment. And that pulling straight down really helps. Let's move on. Take your belly button and squeeze it straight into your spine. This should have had this all nice and tight because of the sits bone pulling downwards and it should get your lower abs. For those of you just working on fitness, this is awesome to just walk around because you're working your butt and you're working your core just by walking. So this is great. Moving up to your ribs. We don't want to bring out, we don't want to show the chest. We don't want to cave in, be the hunched back. I want you to feel weird for a second. Take your rib cage and go straight up. So you can feel like you're a T-Rex or something. Cool. You can feel great. Take your collarbone, make it like rubber. Stretch it out as far as possible and stab the wall to the side. You feel really huge and now everything's nice and perky and it looks good and it's nice and straight. It's awesome. So now that we've done that, take your shoulder blades, your shoulder blades, and press them down towards your bum. Cool. Now your shoulders themselves, some people have a natural forward pitch, some people have a natural back pitch. Whatever it's comfortable for your shoulders, that's fine. I want your shoulder blades pressing down into your bum. Cool. Another example I give, and I've heard this in the dance community, is take like an orange or one of those little squishy balls for your neck, stick them underneath your armpit, and I want you to squish the orange, the orange juice out of it. Now you don't want to get rid of the orange, then it just pops away and it's purposeless. But I want you to squeeze just enough till the orange juice comes out. Don't drink the orange juice, that'd be nasty. But so that's the motion. You want to squeeze the armpit, squeeze the shoulder blades down. Cool. Take your neck, I want you to elongate through the back of the spine, through the back of the neck. This should bring space into your spine. This is a very common issue in the fitness industry as well in the dance industry. Everybody is so compacted. Everybody is so pushed down. And we don't elongate our spine to create fluid movement. When we're compacted, it's a very smaller amount of movement. So you want to lift through the neck, lift through the back of the neck to create space in between your vertebrae and through the discs, cool? Take your chin, make it parallel to the floor. Your nose, this is a huge issue as well with dancers. Not so much in the fitness industry because they're so concentrated on their neck. But in the dance industry, I still see everybody doing this. It's like neck forward. This causes intense strain and tension on the neck. And also, it weakens the front muscles so that when you get older, you start getting saggy muscles and saggy skin right here. So I want you to take your nose and push it straight back just until you feel the tension in the back of your neck, or in the back of the jaw rather, excuse me. And lifting through the back of the neck like you were before, lifting through the spine so that when you lift outwards, you're pulling everything from the belly button up upwards. And this causes stability because while you're lifting up, your body has to compensate and push down into your feet. Cool, so you're having a really stretched out motion here. I want you to think up and radiate as big as possible. For women, we don't want to feel big. Sorry, your energy wants to feel big. You want to feel as big as possible and kick people out of your bubble. Cool, your energy bubble. So I'm about to do the Athena in a second because she keeps running across. I'm kidding, I'm, I'm not mean to Kat. She just looked at me too. So I want you to dig in and radiate as, pos as big as possible. Grab a ginormous beach ball. Cool. Elbows straight down. If you felt your back tighten, you did great. If not, start all over. Release the beach ball and balance. Now how do we get out of this position? That's it, it's simple. So we keep everything the same. And the same with sitting. Everything stays the same. We're sitting and everything is in alignment. In the fitness industry, with squats, knees, feet, hips, face in the same direction, keeping the sits bone tucked down towards the ground. The back stays straight. Uh, FYI, I did hurt my knee. I'm not wearing my brace right now, so excuse me if I make a mistake. You're pressing your energy outwards, your knees and feet, and our hips are facing the same direction. Everything is nice and straight. Same with forward squats. Knees, feet, hips face the same direction. 
sits bone nice and straight you're pushing it back beautiful squat pulling the belly button in the cat oh goodness y'all don't see her but it's funny so this is what proper posture should be i hope the video wasn't too long and too boring i'm sure in the first like five seconds cat appearing was hilarious um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please write in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Um, this is how instructors grow, is from hearing from their students and hearing from people who have a different outlook on things. So go ahead, comment, and I would love to answer and check you out in the next video. Coming up after this would be walking, but that is totally another time, and we will go over that um, in the next video that I may or may not do. Cool. Uh, love ya. See you later.